What's going on is Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. Switching over from the hotel into my Airbnb, and then Rita's over there. See her? Having a good time. Probably gonna spend a lot of time on the rooftop while I'm here. Cause I got a lot of work to do. But one of the things that I'm concerned about or I'm bothered about is this whole situation with uh, Aimi, Ime, Yudoka. I don't understand it, man. I'm very, very much confused. And one of the reasons why I'm confused is we've sliced and diced this thing every which way that you can think of, right? We've been trying to figure it out. But the thing that I don't understand is why is the media and YouTubers and content creators not holding the woman accountable? I don't understand it. Is she absolved? Does she not bear a level of responsibility that comes along with ruining somebody else's family? You ruining somebody else's life? You know, I listened to the Boston Celtics conference. I listened to Malika Andrews versus Stephen A. Smith. I listened to Woj. I listened to Kendrick Perkins. I listened to everybody else's take. And nobody, I mean literally nobody, is calling for this woman to be held responsible. In the Boston Celtics conference, when they were detailing it and highlighting it, and they did the same scent move, same PR scent move that everybody else do. They held him accountable, which is fair, because we've been having conversations about him for an extended period of time. But the thing that they didn't do was hold her accountable. And I don't understand that. I'm very much confused. I'm weirded out about it. Because when they asked them, will anybody else be disciplined as a result of what's going on right here? They said no. They definitively said no. They didn't say we'd think about it. They didn't say we'd investigate it. I don't understand it. Why do women get away with doing some of the worst things and the most egregious things or participating in what's going on, but then she's absolved from the responsibility that comes along with opening up her legs? And you know, you know it's hard for me to hold guys accountable it's very, very hard for me to hold guys accountable when we can justify the behaviors of the women that tempt the men that are doing what it is that they're doing. You, you can't. You can't have your cake and eat it too. She can't just walk away, destroy a family. Nia Long is catching a shrapnel. Everybody trying to figure out who it is in the organization that's doing it. So all of the women in the organization is catching a shrapnel. But you couldn't keep your legs closed because you wanted a BBC. Hmm? You wanted a man in an organization, and the word is that one of the Celtics players snitched on him. Let me find out it was Marcus Smart with the green hair. But no, for real though, I can't, I can't understand for the life of me why, first of all, she shouldn't have a clause in her contract for employment now, as of right now, the stories is, is that it was a VP's wife or somebody's organization and a wife. So both him and her work for the organization, but she shouldn't be held accountable for her actions. Make that make sense for me. How is that possible? Why shouldn't she be held responsible for her actions? And she could just be thirsty out here trapping dudes and throwing things in a limbo and messing up people's lives and marriages and then ruining sons and kids because we don't know what his kids are going to be going through or teased through and they were supposedly moving over to Boston and he loses his income. God knows if he's ever going to coach again. And again, people are holding him accountable for a lack of dis dick discipline, which is one of the things that I've been emphasizing for a long time now. But why is she removed from being held accountable? Also, I can't figure that out. How does that make sense? It is a vibe up here. I like what I see in Dallas much better than Houston, but I like what I see in Dallas. But I don't understand that. Why does she get a pass? You see the city over there? Let me show you the city. See the city over there? It's dope. I guess that's downtown. And it didn't even take me long to get here. 
from over in my hotel near downtown. Went skinny dipping last night. It was awesome. But let's stay on track because I don't want to remove her from responsibility that comes along with being what she's supposed to be. Why does she get a pass? Why does she get to do whatever it is that she want to do when she want to do it and just walk away when all of the destruction is happening and everything is going bad and we trying to protect her? Why do we protect the women? instead of also holding them accountable for what it is that they're doing and how it is that they're contributing to the destruction of families. And let me tell you what else could happen. Possibility. Let's just say, for example, old boy get divorced, right? And they got significant assets. You know what's going to happen? Because allegedly she has three kids hurt with her husband also. So then she get to bend him over a barrel and he has to probably split resources with her. And she probably going to keep her, man, while... Nia Long over there posting on Instagram talking about please keep my privacy, at, you know what I'm saying, at bay. And she ain't even did nothing. Nia Long has largely been like 100% removed from the BS and she's been taking care of business. But now she got to be subjected to this nonsense also. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And I don't understand how we can justify and why people are not calling for it. Where's all of the people that saying, yo, where's this chick for the streets that absolutely was ruining families? They got solar panels over there on theirs. Let me see theirs. Got the solar panels right there. It's dope. Where's all of the people that's calling for her to be held accountable? And why is the Boston Celtics organization? Because y'all got to remember, one thing that you have to remember is that when this story first broke, they said specifically that he had a consensual relationship meaning that she was participating not against their will because somebody on the morning show on the millionaire morning show on the other channel tried to frame this and say yo but she's claiming sa sexual no she ain't no she ain't she gave that gawk gawk 3000 up just like everybody else that wanted to be a part of some high value man and his weakness and inability to keep his dick in his pants to focus on the bag now he fumble in the bag and he gonna mess up his entire legacy based off of some chicken, some pee, getting some box. Man, leave these hoes alone, bro. You can't trust none of them. You can't trust nobody except for the person that you married to or the person that you lay next to every night. And y'all can barely trust them. Y'all talking about the chicks that y'all laying next to every night and how they a problem, but you want to sit here and chuck, uh, trust Becky with the good hair? Stop it, bro. Stop it. I'm chilling. I'm never letting nothing get in the way of my box, especially another human, especially another woman. You can forget it. Nope, because you're seeing what's happening right now. They're holding him accountable, and she's largely going to be absolved from whatever responsibility that comes along with it. She ain't going to own that. She ain't got no responsibility with regard to that. She chilling. And so while she chilling, I'm chilling. Chilling comfortably, understanding that me just focusing on my bag and continuing to win is going to allow for me to continue to be successful and not mess with Becky with the good hair. What's up, Rita? Rita with no drawers on. What? I, I didn't say you didn't have drawers on. Did I say that? You did. You got drawers on? Yes, always. Why you got drawers on? Because that's what women do. Not when they alone. I'm not alone. Anyways. I love y'all, I appreciate y'all. Shout out to Becky with the good hair that's absolved from any kind of responsibility that comes along with doing the wrong thing. I'm chilling, right? Got some business to take care of, some things to get into. I love y'all, I appreciate y'all. I'ma holler at y'all later. Peace.